don't know your upabouts from your neck heel, let's have a look at some of the parts of the ukulele. Yeah, it's got a ukulele with another beginner's guide video. This is something a number of viewers, stroke readers, had asked me to do. And it was a run through of the different parts you will find on a ukulele. Um, now, there's quite a lot of variation between ukuleles, so you're going to have to just listen to what I'm saying on some of it. But this is a pretty standard looking ukulele. It's a concert scale, they come in different scales soprano, concert, tenor, baritone, and some other variations on the theme. But this isn't about that. Let's just have a look at what the parts are as quickly as I can. So, this bit is the body. The body is made up of the top, the sides, and the back. Um, they're usually made from either solid woods or laminate sheets of woods. Sometimes they're in two pieces on here and two pieces on the sides and two pieces on the back. Sometimes they're single pieces, particularly on the smaller instruments. So that is your body. This is a very traditional ukulele shape called a double bout shape. So this is the upper bout, the upper shoulders, this is the lower bout, and this is the tail. And this is called the waist, for obvious reasons. There are ukuleles that don't have a waist and they tend to be called pineapples or boat paddle shaped ukuleles. And in fact, a ukulele can be any sh any shape you like, really. Uh, it just has to be a box uh, because that's how the sound projection works. Um, but the waist is traditional and, um, you know, looks like a little guitar, I'm afraid to say. This part of the ukulele is called the bridge and that's what the whole thing is called. This is a tie bar style where the strings are tied onto the bridge but you'll also get styles where the strings go inside and are tied off inside the instrument. Slot styles where you put a knot at the end of the string and it hooks into the slot and also those ukulele bridges that use pins to hold the strings in. Doesn't matter, they all do the same thing. They tie the strings off at one end. As part of the bridge part of the ukulele, you get this white strip, sometimes black, sometimes gray, and that's called a saddle. Um, that's sometimes made of plastic, sometimes made of bone, sometimes made of a composite called uh, Corian or new bone or something like that. People claim and argue to death that there are differences to the sound, but I defy anybody with blindfolds on to really t tell me that it's noticeably that different. That's my view. You'll sometimes get decoration with these instruments. This is called binding around the top. The black stuff is the binding. The little trim on the edge is called purfling. And this is a sound hole rose up going around the sound hole. Now the sound hole is not what people think it is. It's not just about projecting sound. It isn't. It's, it's actually a vent to allow air to come in and out of the instrument because when you strum the strings, the vibration is here. This is where most of the sound's coming from. If that's too small or not there at all, no air can come in and out, so the top cannot vibrate. Okay, when you look inside the instrument, you possibly see some lining bits which are at the point of where the back and the top meet the sides. That's called kerfing. And you'll also see some straight pieces here which provide strength and tension to the top and the back. That is called bracing. Okay, this part of the instrument is called the neck. And this part of the neck is called the heel. The reason why it's elongated and comes down like that is because it has to be to provide strength to that joint, which is either glued, screwed, or dovetailed, depending on the ukulele. But that's called the heel. Plastic ukuleles don't tend to need a big heel because they're just molded in, in one place. And the neck has paste, placed on top of that the fingerboard. The fingerboard is another piece of dark wood, usually rosewood or ebony or something like that, but increasingly walnut and some other materials. Something that's hard because it's going to get a lot of pressure from the fingers and nails and things like that. And that holds the metal bars, which are called the frets. The amount of frets you get depends on the builder and depends on the scale, but you know, you're going to have minimum 12. Um, this has got a lot more than 12. Um, the dots that face out are position markers. They traditionally go in those places, but theoretically they could go anywhere. But that's where they tend to be on ukulele, 5, 7, 10, 12, 15. And sometimes, hopefully, you will get dots on the side as you do here. The piece of white material here, sometimes black, sometimes wood, is called the nut. And basically the nut, the, these are the two most important parts, the saddle and the nut, because it's the nut to the saddle which dictates the scale of the ukulele. That is the vibrating length of the string. Um, and they have to be held like that because that allows the string to freely vibrate. So that's your nut and your nut also controls the spacing of um, the strings down the neck and the nut and the saddle heights 
dictate the string height above the fingerboard too low and it will buzz and lose volume too high and uh, your tuning goes out when you play so they need to be set accurately but let's not worry about that up to the top this is called the headstock and this is the headstock face the headstock is the part of the ukulele that holds the tuners these are geared tuners which is one of the three main types you're going to see the other main type are friction pegs which face backwards and you tighten and adjust them with a screw and increasingly you're now starting to see something called planetary tuners which face backwards too but they're actually gears a helical gear inside but these are probably the most common ones you'll see these ones happen to be sealed uh, but sometimes you'll get them they're open and you can see the gear mechanism they do exactly the same thing it's a transverse gear that turns that motion into that motion on the string post um do you know what i think that's about it really uh there's a strap button on this one you don't have to have a strap button that's called the heel cap um is there anything else i haven't told you i don't think that there is they are your main parts of the ukulele if there's anything that's not clear just answer me question ask me questions in the comments below and i will do my best to help you out go very carefully hope that helps back soon with some more guides see ya bye bye